right. Thank you. <laughs> we have soups on, like literally. Were you interested in that uh, in the ramen? No, I think I'm just gonna roll with this. Oh. Take a little viewfinder. Uh, can't see. Focus. There we go. Got a little Pizza Hut Parmesan I'm gonna throw in there. <laughs> I actually didn't bring any seasonings. I actually have a little seasoning container at home, but yeah, you keep showing it until you need it. You don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I'd thought about it, I would have brought out more. Not to mention the um, uh, the olive oil. So we each just tasted this. Actually, it's it's quite good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I mean, I probably got a little less of the seasoning of the the soup seasoning because it was kind of a pain to to break it apart into the baggies. Now we had crackers, so. I wasn't worried about breaking them up in the hike because, yeah, I'm just going to smash them all up anyway. I probably could have done that ahead of time. Maybe threw some, you know, actually, yeah, this, there's a, this crackers are going to bring a little extra salt to the party too, mm -hmm. so. And you're going to put them in with. That's half a package of crackers, if you're wondering. We're not half a box, but just half of the the package. We also have a bandit going. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good, man. Yeah. What did you throw in there? Crackers. <laughs> I just busted up the crackers and threw them in there. Pretty good. Yeah. A nice hearty meal. Hot. Hmm. Wow, that is that is very good, guys. I'm I'm really surprised. 27 degree day, chicken noodle soup, around a dollar 25, 27, whatever. Little crackers. I got them on sale. Super hot though. I didn't even measure the water. I just kind of dumped it in there. That's where the spoon is cool because you can't put a big old hot bite into your mouth. <laughs> you can only get enough that's doable. Oh, good man. Mm. Alright. And you know what we were talking about on the on the last trip, if we had a knowledge of wild edibles like mushrooms, like things we could pick, I could totally spruce this cup up with all the wild edibles I wanted. Well show them show them that as well. Oh yeah, he's uh Grant's making some Mashed potatoes. Really nice. Really nice. And it takes three quarters of a cup of, of a canteen water. We're good to go. Just pour and stir, huh? Yep. Can't go wrong. Just gonna get me my spoon. And I'm good to go. Just got to stir that up. How about that? Nice mashed potatoes. Very nice. Yeah. Just you can add any meat up. to it or anything? No, I'm just going to do it like this. You could. Once again, like you're saying, you can add got anything you want to this. Yeah, you could probably add those. Um, um, those I mean, you can look at that. I mean, that's a whole bunch of food right there. I mean, that's a whole canteen full of yeah, food. Yeah, that's, that's a hearty meal for sure. I mean, hell, this is almost full. Yeah. Actually, you could almost throw that soup mix in here and actually kind of flavor this up. You know yeah. What I mean? Now, that soup gives you all kind of possibilities, man. It's awesome. 
Well, I think that's uh, that's okay. Do you want a little taste now? Yeah. Be careful this time, hot. Right? I bet. You know, it has been a good day. What's smoke in the eyes? Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're hot. Woohoo. Oh, this is good. This is garlic and something. Yeah. They have other flavors, too. They have, like, cheese, garlic. Oh, I had a piece of white cheddar home I was going to bring, and I forgot it too. Mm. Crap. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to look into some soups, and I'm going to look into getting some more of these. Yeah, I think I will too. That feels are spot on. This mock is, you know, I normally carry a couple of cans of tuna with me. Yeah. You know, if you just get the drain the tuna juice out, yeah. and then just throw it through and mix it. Absolutely. You could even bake that if you want. The best part is it's, it's delicious and it's on the cheap. Oh man, that'd be good. I mean, this was like less than, oh, just over a dollar. And the crackers, I think the box was about two bucks. Mm -hmm. And I got, so, you know, each package was, so about 50 cents in crackers. I'm thinking some vegetable soup would be really good in here too. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this a lot. This is a great thing. Mm hmm. Good times for sure. Mm. Hope you guys are getting out there, enjoying your time in the woods. Yep, get out there, folks. This is it. No. Yeah. If you can. Oh, I mean, just you were doing it in the backyard, to be fine. You know, now it's fall, everything's blowing down, there's probably wood everywhere. You want to make a little fire in the backyard? Make some good grub. Mm -hmm. On a hot day, too, this will warm up your core temperature. Man, it's little things in life. Well, I guess we'll bring you back when the uh, bannock's done. See how that looks. Because the Grant's never had this bannock before. I've had it a few times. Yeah, I think it's Mm-hmm. This soup would be good with like a bannock too, just a plain bannock. Or like maybe a herb bannock. People associate coming at you and uh, not being able to be sort of comfortable, have a good warm meal. I mean, as simple as the shit we've done it. I mean, we've both had a great meal. Yeah. Couldn't be any easier. Mm -hmm. Bannock's cooking up nicely. <laughs>